The Sharp Tank. Yes, sir. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. And today, I, I said it earlier, man. Okay. They say it's no such thing as a free lunch, <laughs> but I did get me a two for one deal a today. Two for one. That's two right. For one. That's right. I got my man Big Court in the building, man. Cracking with you, P. Man, I. hey, I'm happy to even. I'm happy. I'm. I'm. Trust me, I'm ecstatic to have you. Hey, here, likewise, man. bro. We've been trying to get it. We've been trying to get it done for a minute, bro. And then I got yeah. a. We got many ventures. This, yes, sir. This is just the beginning. <laughs> and then I got. I'm going to say a legend, man, of the mm -hmm. rap game, you know, especially, you know, from the areas you came from, Absolutely. man, like, y your name and where you mm -hmm. came from cannot be ignored. Absolutely. I appreciate it, my brother. We appreciate got it. Silk Shocker in the mother building. I'm in the building, for sure. For sure. Yes, Glad sir. to be here, too. You heard me? <laughs> for my real, brother, hey, my man. My brother. This is, this is amazing, man, just to yeah. even be able to sit back and, you know, swing back and forth through conversation and That's just, right. you know, just um, show the viewer you and where you've been. That's right. You know, and what's been going on. Yeah. I'm going to start with you, because you said hey, the closest. Real, real quick, though, bro, I yeah. got to give you your props, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I didn't watch you come into this game and I didn't watch you flourish. You know what I mean? So you coming from where you didn't came from, your background, yeah. you good at this shit. So, you know, you. continue to be great, bro. So I want to give you your props. Too. I, I appreciate that, man. And like I said, your podcast, man, I've been I've been watching. I love what you're doing. Thank you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Thank and you. Just appreciate that. You bringing, like, you bringing some realness to yeah, it. Like, yeah, it's yeah. no bullshit. Yeah. Holding court is like some yeah. real, it is some real deal shit, some heavy shit. Man, like yeah. if you want a real genuine, that's what I like, mm -hmm. genuine interviews. Yeah. So it's dope to see you yeah. like really moving on that, that like, and not getting caught in the bullshit. Exactly. And see, that's what I, I did that intentionally, bro. You know, I wanted to kind of bring some balance to the game. You know what I'm cool. saying? You know, we got the bullshit and that's cool. That's entertaining, you know, yeah. but I also wanted to bring some some levity to the to the culture. You know what I mean? And some, some real shit because I'm kind of still up under that old doctrine, you know, a certain mm. shit. On, on social media. What do you mean you, by old doctrine? Give us the some old, the old yeah. constitution. You know, like yeah. think about it, bro. Well, I know I'm, I'm older than you, so yeah. um, you know, in my generation, we didn't. You feel like we, you win when you say that. Yeah. I've had one other dude <laughs> say that to me. His name was Frank Williams, and I, I fuck with him, man. Yeah. Me, Frank Williams. Yeah. I fuck with him. Oh yeah, like, yeah. He been on my show too. He, he Shout out like, to the OG. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. like, and I fuck with him. He was like, yeah. uh, you know, I'm a lot older than you. Yeah. You know? No, I'm gonna tell you why we say that. So I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why we gotta preface it with that. We had a great because, convo because, um, you know, our generation with the sensibility was different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. you're a millennial. You know, I'm Generation yeah. X. So yeah. it's a little bit different in terms of the, the sensibility and the the rationale. So back in my day, you know, we didn't take a lot of pictures. It's it's parts of the '90s and early 2000s. I'm not a millennial. <laughs> well, no, but what I'm saying is. Like this, this overexposure and being on camera and talking like we didn't do that. We didn't grow up in no, there. We no, had to, you no, no. I didn't come from that yeah, man. Yeah. And nobody even kids yeah. didn't even have cell phones. Yeah, like yeah. that was a no, luxury for the parents. Like man. I meant man. for me to get listen, homie. When I got a yeah. house phone in the room in my bedroom, I thought I was. <laughs> Oh yeah, for Did sure. Did you have your own line? So understand, yes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It took me a second because I got tired yeah. of my grandmama getting on talking yeah, about yeah, hey, front know you you shit. Off. Yeah, yeah front I'm, I'm, you. and I'm already front and talking about yeah, this small line. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I remember what it was like, bro, to record yeah. a voicemail mm -hmm. with a little bit of music playing yeah. in the back, maybe a little bit of silk. <laughs> Absolutely. Shit, you never know. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So right. I, right. I come from that era. Yeah. I just That's want right. you to know that. Like I don't. Like I remember when. AOL was new. Like yeah. I never knew nothing <laughs> dial about no up dial shit. up, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't know nothing about that. <laughs> I didn't come from that. So mm -hmm. that's that's why we say that, you know, because yeah. you know we just kind of did this shit a little bit different. But yeah. you know, but yeah, we're doing the holding court podcast, bro. Like I just wanted to bring some a little bit of maturity, a little bit of uh, you know, make it a little more cerebral, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and, and you know, bring some uh, you know, uh, balance. Now it ain't all boring and staunch like that. You know what I mean? Like we still. You know, it's about. I always I say call that boring, uh, but I yeah, do get I always you to say, be catering to a certain yeah, 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 audience right, right, that. right, right. I always say that my show is a mixture of black excellence and. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. excellent. Some excellent. <laughs> I like that. Some excellent. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I love that, yeah, man. Yeah. For real, that's dope, yeah. man. For real, like, but I just want you to know, like, I, you, I do come from that era of understanding, mm -hmm. like you know. There mm -hmm. was still some real people like mm -hmm. yourself and Silk mm -hmm. that was still being able to influence because 
especially your music. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. all we had. For sure, right? yeah. for sure. For sure. Yeah. That's yeah. all we yeah. had. Yeah. Exactly. Like, uh, so uh, a nigga knew he had the power. And what I liked yeah. about uh, older, uh, like older rappers mm -hmm. and you know rap back in the day, yeah. they never misused the influence mm -hmm. okay. of it. Okay. Even with Pac, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, never mm -hmm. like, try to, yeah, he talk about some mm -hmm. thug shit, yeah, yeah. That's but right. he had a lot of positive exactly. shit too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nobody's balancing that out Man, anymore. you hit the you hit the nail on the head. That's the same thing I say now, just yeah. balance. Like, yeah. we nobody's love balancing shit. that out. We love mm -hmm. it. We love the ignorant shit. The, you know, we love that. We love niggas the turn up. Niggas grandmamas we love, and yeah, we mamas love the and up. like doing weird shit these days. Back when I was coming up, yeah. your family was off limits. Mm. That's right. Even the dead homies. Like, we didn't do that. Niggas in talk about niggas dead homies and all of that you know mm. so yeah it's 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 different but it's cool you know mm. with, like you know i try to i try to lace my audience that's the other thing about it too i try to give them some game give them some guidance you know what i mean and and you know a lot of them younger than my oldest child you feel me and and you know so i just try to share the knowledge wisdom and understanding because you know i came up under older guys and ogs myself so. myself I, that's yeah. how i came up so mm. there was really no room for error you mm -hmm. either you either caught on to it yeah or you didn't that's Absolutely. right yeah, like that's you right. know so i came from that fellas like mm -hmm. i didn't come from just where mm -hmm. this shit today the millennial mixture and i'm yeah. not mad at them mm -hmm. i'm not that's even right. mad at these kids that's right. that's right. looking sure. like you little motherfuckers like yeah. what are y'all doing <laughs> yeah but then i start seeing like mm -hmm. it's a di I understand them better now because yeah. I know it's a different day and age yeah. it's you. different we're not going they're not really yeah. kind of there there's different temptations mm -hmm. right there's there's you know there's different music that's yeah. influencing Absolutely. people yeah. are listening to yeah. a mass yeah. fucking major majority yeah. of just Absolutely. all types of music I mean I'm one myself yeah. I don't just listen to rap I listen to a lot of different mm -hmm. things yeah, that's right. because there's so much of it that's obtainable but if you don't already know who you are you mm -hmm. can definitely be easily oh, yeah. influenced. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Especially you know with what the I'm power saying? of social media, because I think yeah. social media, you know, it exacerbates, you know, the yeah. influence, even the bad shit, you know, because back yeah. in the day, we just had, think about it, you just had a music video, a tape, a CD, you know what I mean? But now, they're, they're like, they're almost overindulging with social media, overstimulated, you know what I mean? Yeah. You get on social media, all you got is everything at the tip of your fingers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So rather it's Positive or negative, whatever you're looking for, you can find it. You know what I'm Silk, saying? Silk, I gotta ask you, and yes, trust sir. me, I want to talk to you about a whole fucking lot. <laughs> okay, I, yeah. I swear I do, you. but I want to. Yeah. I think this is the proper time to ask it while the conversation's brewing. Yeah, 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 because yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I want to know for you and somebody that's been that's done music for a long mm -hmm. time here. Mm -hmm. What was the transition when you saw it from moving CDs out of the trunk or people mm -hmm. actually moving physical mm -hmm. units versus now it's all about streams? How do you mm -hmm. feel about that? It's different. So what I think is, um, I think it's always going to change, right? So I think back in the days it was vinyl, right? Then it yeah. was 8-track, then it was CDs, and then it was, I mean, it was cassettes, then it was CDs. So yeah. I think it's going to always be something that, that you have to pay attention to, but also get on board with. Because I'm sorry, because I know people who just want to play 8-tracks. They be like, ah, give me back to the old days, but you can't, <laughs> can't really live in the old days. Just like you can't drive an old car all the well, time. Well, I feel like people do that for like uh, nostalgics, like mm -hmm. you know, just like clothes. People yeah, like vintage sure. clothes. They're yeah. like, oh, give yeah. me an A track because I feel like yeah. things history repeats itself. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. You for know, sure. so I feel sure. like some people kind of like mm -hmm. that as like a vintage mode, like playing, uh, playing yeah. records, records, absolutely, yep. you know, yep. something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. But but you got a point. So the the point is. Um, even fashion, even all this stuff is gonna go around the circle, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm to be honest with you, people are really looking for vinyl now. They they want to go back to that vinyl days, but that was a good day too. So so you know, so I think it's a little bit of both. So you gotta be able to kind of keep um keep going with it because it's not gonna stop. So next time it's gonna be where you could just in your headphones, all the music gonna be in there. You got mm -hmm. so it's gonna keep on changing. Do you wanna try to, you know, change with it or are you gonna you want to still be with cassettes. They don't have cassettes in the car, but at the same time, those were some good times. So we might just install a cassette player in our car, just that you know, just to have it, because um, that was some good times. I know everybody's asking me, "You got the old vinyl or charge to the game or whatever?" So I know that's a moment. Do you? I, mean, I do. That's actually, a good do. I got, I got that's everything. That's a good question. I got everything. I got everything, you know what I'm you. Yeah. I got everything for sure. But that's that's it. I think um, I. I, I learned to appreciate it. Uh, I might not like all of it because I remember sometimes back then it was good to hand out your CDs. I was, I felt like that was like, you know, that was um, that felt like I felt good to 
to give somebody a CD, they go bump it, you hear it. Now it's like, it's, it's probably a lot more music. Because um, I remember back in the days when I was, um, I, I got a cassette, right? It was um, LL Cool J. And I must have jammed it for like- Back then, that yeah. was a cold cassette back yeah, then. Yeah, it was. You it know, was. people might laugh mm -hmm. at that today and be like, yeah. what you mean, LL Cool J? Well, yeah. at that time, mm -hmm. that motherfucker was pumping. Yeah, yeah for sure, yeah. for sure. And then the thing about it too, like to his point, you know, back then, it, music wasn't so accessible. It wasn't so mm -hmm. ready made. So mm -hmm. back then, an artist, you probably wouldn't hear from them, but once every year, once every year and a half that they dropped mm -hmm. the album. So you had to like really enjoy that one body of work. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Where now- That's real though. You know, where now, motherfuckers <laughs> is dropping shit every day, every week. You can go to their social media, interact with them. You know what I mean? So it kind of takes away the- you know, the the exclusivity. The exclusivity. Yeah. Just yeah. talked about exactly. it. That's how I knew mm -hmm. the exactly. proper words. I just had this yeah, yeah, conversation yeah. That with is some ladies word. before this. Word. It was just the exclusivity, yeah. man. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's what kind of bumped the mm -hmm. the that raw yeah. rap, that rapper, like yeah. that come yeah. from the streets, mm. got a story. Yeah. yeah. Got yeah, a story. Yeah, yeah. You notice a yeah. lot of these rappers, and I'm not knocking them oh, yeah, at yeah, all, sure, but right. a lot of the newer mm -hmm. Rappers, right. mm -hmm. they don't really got a story. Because everything can be mm -hmm. manufactured like a, and manipulated through social media. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, and I'm yeah, sure yeah. some people are going to yeah. agree with what we yeah. just said. And I'm mm -hmm. sure it's going to be a lot of people yeah. that don't. On the business but side, it I, stands. I, it wins, though. On the business, like on the business side, yeah. I think it's dope, right? Because yeah. back in the day, you know, you had to start locally. So you, if you was rapping some shit, like you really had to be that because the people around you, they knew you was lying, right? So they ain't gonna get behind you because you, you know, you had hard costs, you had manufacturing, you had posters and all that shit. Everybody didn't have the money to get, you know, fifty thousand units pressed up and get distribution. So you was hand to hand with it, right? So you couldn't be on your tape telling too many lies because motherfuckers right. like, nigga, I work with you. You talking about you, you miss them though? times, so, <laughs> like of uh, just that, like I said, that that yeah. independent, yeah. right, on the street. Mm -hmm. People loving you like mm -hmm. there goes silk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run up mm -hmm. and you got units to sell. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, like yeah. here, you want to buy? Yeah. Now I buy whatever you got. Yeah, 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 exactly. Do you miss that interaction, or do you like this new era of like way things go, where people interact with you virtually? Uh, actually, I, I do. I miss them days because that's what kind of blew us up. Because we will find ourselves you as in, in the hot boys. Yeah, yeah. Well, think about this. Like so, back in the days, we was like so crazy enough to be in Compton. Um, you know, Chicago, right. like, you know, right. like, and we didn't know no better. We was like, right. we was trying to get this money. So we don't know that y'all, somebody's trying to, you know, get, get at us because we like trying to yeah. get out the hood too. So we, we'll go anywhere. It's a heavy Maryland. Grind. Yeah. We just driving. You know, if somebody come to your neighborhood and you don't know them, you like, hold up, man, this is about to get ugly. So, right. So, so, but we were just so crazy enough to try to make it where, but then let me tell you what happened. It was organic because street, you know, street dudes would be like, you know, I, I should do something to y'all, but y'all crazy. Give me the CD. Let me buy a hundred of those CDs. So right. So so when we first came out, we had did this everywhere: Maryland, DC, Chicago. And when we dropped our first record, all that stuff would end up being love. So they were like, "Oh, I remember those guys." And because he came out on a major at that time, mm -hmm. all the independent people in the streets were like, "I remember those guys." And they. That's how our record blew up. It was all ground, you know, groundwork. You know what I'm saying? You come from one of the, like the original, yeah, yeah. like rap groups, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that mm -hmm. were popping mm -hmm. for its time. Like yeah. you are a hell of a piece mm -hmm. to the culture, and anybody that sits there and denies that mm -hmm. or has anything bad to mm -hmm. say about that mm -hmm. don't know rap. Oh yeah, for sure. It's for impossible. Sure. I don't sure. give a fuck if you didn't like them as as people. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You could not ignore the music. Mm -hmm. That's right. It was everywhere, gotcha. and it was pumping everywhere. Right. And I think because I think what happened for for you, Silk, mm -hmm. and a lot of others back mm -hmm. then was it was more hand on hand yeah. contact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, had to be. Mm -hmm. People wanted. This. Yeah. I ran into Silk. I yeah, was at yeah, the gas yeah. station. Mm -hmm. Man, he said, "Look, he signed my CD. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> he, this nigga gave him a hundred. Just what you mm -hmm. do? I gave him the whole hundred just because I was just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just yeah. felt like it was just worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. for sure. You know, it's those times right there are. are the most realistic times in rap that I feel like has been forgotten. Yeah. That's why I feel like people yeah. just make music just because like anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just you hear anything. Yeah. 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 It's funny. It's got fucking fans. It's mm -hmm. funny you say that too because I've been on a road, right? So I've been doing these big shows, whatever. And um so we about to we about to go out on the road now and it's a little bit more tainted. Like it's a little more smaller. 
And I'm looking forward to it because, yeah. you know, when you do the big shows, you can't really touch the people. Mm-hmm. And that was the best thing about what we was doing because I would be in the streets sometimes. Like, um, I, wa- I was kind of like just talking to some people. And one of the dudes on the streets was just like, yo, he go five racks. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you so cool, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? So people be invested into you because you so cool and so humble and down to earth. And so you have a fan for life. So I come to you. If you was in the street, I'd be like, you, we dap, you know, we cool. You going to end up being cool with me for life. You'd be like, man, I, right. I remember Silk, he came to my, 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 my boy's shower, whatever. It's that it's, interaction, yeah, man. Yeah, it's interaction. Yeah, it's more interaction. Yeah, it's yeah. more intimate. Yeah. Do you know how many people talk about how much they... They have a favorite rapper, or yeah, yeah, favorite yeah. artist, mm-hmm. and they say like they buy all their stuff, yeah, yeah. right? Big mm-hmm. like for real, yeah, yeah, for they sure. Buy every fucking mm-hmm. thing, mm-hmm. and they say like so once they run into the person, like oh, yeah. meet him at a show, and they get yeah. booed. They like, man, that's the word. <laughs> I can't even believe I bought all of his albums. Yeah. Dude's a dick, or yeah, she's yeah. a oh, she's an man. asshole, or she's man. a jerk, or yeah. just whatever they right. the choice of words yeah. they yeah. want to yeah. use. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They're like, I can't even believe like I like this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's that's real sharp. Hey, listen, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. I've been out here 20 Love years. Love Kansas. I stay, yeah, I, yeah, I, man, yeah. I just visit Kansas a lot. Yeah, Kansas mm-hmm. or Missouri? Kansas City. Kansas City, Missouri or Kansas yeah. City, Kansas? Kansas City, Missouri. Okay. Yeah. And I go over to Kansas City, Kansas a little okay. bit, man. I was yeah. at Levensworth and all that over there. Oh, yeah, there. yeah. That's where the penitentiary is. Yeah, that's where yeah, the penitentiary yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. So come up on the stamp over oh, there. Shout right. out to my nigga North. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, straight up. Um, yeah, so I know, it, but it, I've been a little bit everywhere. Yeah, trust yeah, trust yeah, me. Name yeah. it. I'll, I'll fuck around. <laughs> but it's funny that you say that because me coming from Kansas City and wanting to be in the industry, you know, mm-hmm. starting out as a rapper mm-hmm. as far back as the 90s, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I had signed to No Limit in '95, but um, I didn't know, but, I didn't know you rap big. Yeah, court. yeah, yeah. Way back, that's I'm that's old news. That's way back in the day. I know what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like to I, pull, yeah, yeah. I know how you do. Pulling on your strings. I know how you do. Bit. Yeah, yeah. You were though. Yeah, yeah. Talk, tell us about and that so, a little bit. But but the thing about it is, you know, being in the Midwest where there's no industry, you know, and I was blessed enough to be able to grow and and work with a lot of people that I looked up to from that space. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some I idolize some of my idols and people. And I always say, man, don't meet your idols. Because, you know, I was blessed enough to be able to get in the space where they became my contemporaries. Mm-hmm. They were my equals. You know you what I'm saying? You had some hell of some homies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, this is my brother. 25 years. Yeah, yeah. To be even sitting here yeah, next yeah. to you, yeah. even like coach. But all them motherfuckers major. ain't cool. All them motherfuckers ain't cool, though. Because I didn't yeah. met motherfuckers that I was grew up on. And then you go to meet them, and you like, damn, you a ho ho ass nigga, like, or you a weirdo, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I done ran into a couple of those, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I, uh, but you know, I'm able to separate the music from yeah. the person, though. Yeah. You know, so yeah. You well, know. you always seem like, a, hey man, from what I know of mm-hmm. you, I, I've watched your podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I, I never really looked at you like you jumped into a whole nother lane and sold yeah. it. So yeah. it's like. I respect that. Like, I, even not even knowing too much of the music, mm-hmm. but I even knew about your your dealings and your relationships. Yeah. But yeah. just mm-hmm. seeing what you're doing today, mm-hmm. bro, like, and just moving along, and even having you here, man, the Sharp Tank, man, oh, just absolutely. doing doing what we doing with mm-hmm. our brother Silk the Shaka in the motherfucking mm-hmm. building, that's man. Right. That's that's yes, epic. Like I said, this is I'm excited to have you both, yeah. not just one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm I've I've been a, a fan of you, mm-hmm. but then I recently became a fan of you of hey, what you've been doing, that, you know. And just yeah, like the, the people knowing y'all, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm likewise. saying? And you know, like I know, bro, you get so much love in this space of this content creating. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, you know, you'd be surprised at how many people really be inspired by you, you know, and you really like, like deposit into their lives. You know, I get so many comments and emails. People be like, man, I love how you make the culture look. I love when, you know, when you did this interview, it was, you said something to touch me. Man, I didn't think about it from that perspective. Cause, you know, like I didn't had, I done had people from, you know, Master P, from J Prince to Ice T, even Silk the Shocker. But Shout then, out to all of them. Yeah, but then I done had Snoopy Badass. I done had Crip Mac. I done had these guys. So, yeah. you know, they the young homies. So when they come on, I'm able to kind of give them a different perspective and the catalog give them some is game. Dope. Yeah. Like, I like how you, we get good names through the door. Yeah. We get oh, people yeah. that, that yeah, can yeah, move yeah. the motion, but it's always good mm-hmm. to open the doors mm-hmm. to the up and coming and the people and, and that absolutely. got something going on. Absolutely. Because, and, and genuinely do it, because if you if you really look at it, mm-hmm. the motherfuckers fuck around, you miss the opportunity, they blow up next year. That's right, what? that's right. You miss the content. Mm-hmm. I'm like you though, bro. I'm intrigued by the story. 
You know I what love I'm the story. I love man. the journey, the the backstory of I how do. you started and how you got to this yeah. space. You know what I'm saying? Because it had to be something, it had right? To be something. Even for you, Silk, which we're about to get ready to go down memory lane. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here in just a second, man. Okay. Yeah. For real. Like, yeah. I just want to know for you, Silk, like mm -hmm. honestly, like what was like just your experience coming up through the rap game, man. Like, what was it like for you back then? And just being a part of what it was then versus what you see it as today because you got to watch it actually transition. Yeah, I, what I think was um, just coming up in it, um, you know, you're young, so you, it's almost like you're living for the first time, right? So mm -hmm. you don't know what you expect. You don't know what touring like. You don't know what friends going to be like. You don't know what the music going to be like. So for me, it was just like, I didn't really know no better, but I was so good at it and talented to where I enjoyed it, so but I didn't know what to really enjoy because it's the first time. You know, if you go back, you'd be like, "Oh, I'm a, I, I'm gonna stay in the city a couple more days longer. I'm gonna do this a little different." But at the time, we was moving and shaking. But I appreciate it because coming from where we came from, um, choosing music kind of got us out of that. You know what I'm saying? Because every when I go back home, every time I went back home, it was another another homie out of here. Or fifty years in prison, you know what I'm saying? So how that affect you when you would come off of a good trip, a crazy. good tour, and yeah. you come back to know somebody you may have talked to yeah. right before you left could have been the last person. Yeah. Like when I get back, we gonna do this, yeah. this, 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 and this. Yeah. And you get back and you get that news. And see, back then mm -hmm. wasn't a bunch of social media or mm -hmm. a bunch of contact. Mm -hmm. Like motherfucker, mm -hmm. get on the road, man. You mm -hmm. might not hear from him for the next couple months. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. It was um, uh, it was definitely mm -hmm. different back then, That's you know. Right. It's not all this this the, these gadgets and things that no, were you know sure. virtually you can even get to a for person sure. even it's something as simple as FaceTime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so but it, it happened to me a couple times, you know what I'm saying. And then being a product of that environment, um, which made it even crazy, is that our city was called the murder capital of the world. So we was beefing with the other projects and all that, and it was seeming like every day somebody would come up missing. You know, it was like, it was just like, it was a war, it was a war zone. And so what I found out is the thing that saved me the most was my auntie, she was in the country. So my mom told me to go to the country with my auntie. She have chickens, cows, pigs, everything. Sent right? your ass around, nothing that's dangerous. And guess what, bro? I was like, no, I was, I was crying. No, you, Nick, my, I love my, my, my friends. We hanging out every day. Bro, it was so crazy. It was the best thing in the world that happened to me. She she put me up there. I was milking cows and all this, right? I'm mad. My auntie, she's tough, right? She's yeah. strong. Um, she, rest in peace to her. So she, my mom put me up there for like three months, four months. And you know, as a parent, you know, you would do some stuff for your kids. They won't even appreciate it yet. Mm -hmm. But all my friends, when I came back, it was like six or seven months that I was I knew personally was just gone. And I was like so mad at the time, like, you took me away from my, you know, because that's that's the environment you're in. Mm -hmm. And then coming to find out that she saw something because she knew, like I was telling you before, you know, when you're younger, you 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 could be a lion, right? But if you're a cub, that's the that's a big difference. So uh, anything could take you out of the game as a cub. So you might grow up to be who we is today, but because well, we cubs we, get easily influenced. That's what I'm saying. That's you know? what I'm saying. Yeah. That's the danger yeah. of it. You yeah. know? Or 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 get or get get eaten by the the, the big dog. Yeah, because you know it's not about because I feel like in that theory that you yeah. said, it's not about protecting yourself physically. It's yeah. about protecting yourself mentally That's and true. some of the struggles that That's you know too. and temptations that yeah. can sure. come your For way. Sure. Being a youngster, especially if you don't have already a strong influence yeah. in your life that's mm -hmm. pushing you it's into tough. a positive direction. Yeah. That's right. That's, that's real. That's right. You know, I, I just want America to know that that's yeah. what's built a lot of yeah. that. It's a very simple math equation. It is. It is. And you especially when saying? you don't see that's nothing tough. different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Cause you know, like us, we've been fortunate enough to transition, you know what yeah. I mean? And transcend our circumstances, you know? But we all from the hood, we all, he from the murder capital, I'm from KC. Same yeah, not thing, everybody right? took their money and tried yeah. to do right. Yeah. Or but, stayed out the penitentiary. But like either. you said yeah. though, even the mentally, the mentality, like yeah. when I look at some of my peers that I came up with, right? It's not that I'm not God's chosen one. I'm not God's favorite. I'm not the smartest or nothing like that, right? The only thing that separated us was the way I, I thought, you know what I mean? So I had the same type of influences and the same uh, temptations, but you know, I think that when you can see something else past what you see right here, you know, 
So I always made decisions predicated on where I wanted to go, not necessarily where I was. Mm. You feel me? So when 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 you got a dream, you know, see, I dreamed outside of my circumstance, but a lot of my some of my partners they didn't. It was like, no, this is what it is. This is all I want to see. This is all I know. Mm. So they made moves predicated <clears throat> on that, mm. you know. And so I think a lot of times that's what contributes to motherfuckers being stuck. They be it's, stuck mentally. It's a mentality. It's a mentality. I was, uh, I was locked mentality. up CCDC one time in mm -hmm. North Tower in Las Vegas. I was getting extradited. Mm. Yeah. And they put me on the side, man, where, you know, it's 23-hour lockdowns a mm. day. You know, mm -hmm. they, I was probably back there about a month, mm. a month and a half before they came. So I was doing 23-hour days yeah. in the county. And um, I ran into one of my childhood friends that was up in there, man. Mm -hmm. His name was Ellis. And shout mm -hmm. out to Ellis, man, wherever he was. Mm -hmm. And I remember every night, like, his, uh, his, his celly would always try to complain, talking about, man, he always stands on the bunk and looks out the window. Mm -hmm. He said he does it every night. Oh, yeah. wow. And, and I asked him, I said, Ellis, man, what the fuck this motherfucker talking about? Mm. He says, man, because he says, I look out the window because my mind's not exactly. in here. Exactly. Mm. He says, my mind's out exactly. there. Exactly. Mm. So he says, I'm just trying to resonate with it and trying to mm. stay connected that's and stay that's in real. tune. That's, that's real. That's real. And that's where saying? most like, people are prisoners are in their minds. You it, it, know it's what I mean? real, man. It so all for somebody that's mentality. in a fucking county jail that's about to get ready to go up to yeah. prison and serve his time and do what he do, mm -hmm. for him to look at it like that and people that are free don't, mm -hmm. something's wrong that's with the picture. That's deep, deep. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That's deep. That's yeah. all, man. It all so starts with perspective, brother. You know, Dude. that's what I. That's what I. I learned. You know, I always say, man, you live life long enough here to teach you how to live. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you understand those things. You know what I mean? Like I'm almost to the halfway mark. You know what I mean? So yeah. you know, uh, yeah. You it's know? about uh, listen, mm. Silk. I'm sure you can agree mm -hmm. with me mm -hmm. here. It's all about what you leave behind, right, baby? Absolutely. That's right. Your legacy. No That's yeah. right. Yeah. You've left behind uh, yeah. landmarks. Absolutely. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? So when you go on yes, off this world, mm -hmm. and whether you reincarnated or not, I don't mm -hmm. know how people yeah. play that, but whether yeah. you're not, <laughs> you don't even know you, the, your being before mm -hmm. left something. Yep. Absolutely. No doubt. You, you left the something here. Right and, I, now, and I want people, and I want yeah. people preach, that, preach. I want the yeah. viewers to know that That's, they're it. like, you leave something leave behind. Leave something, yeah. Because what this is fuck. this is the thing you know, like I know. That's what I'm saying. You got that old spirit, but you know, as you get older, you understand people don't care how much money you got, what kind of car you drove, or whatever. They don't remember that. What people remember is how you made them feel. Mm -hmm. You know, seeing that's the lasting thing. You know what I mean? So, like you said, leave a legacy. How many people did you help too? How many lives did you touch? You know, mm -hmm. in different ways. Touch some, touch some good game here with you. Yeah. I always say, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you, when you die, mm -hmm. nobody comes in and talks about how you look like your mama and your daddy. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> right. Everybody right. always talks about who you were and the mm -hmm. choices mm -hmm. that you made. That's right. You die mm -hmm. looking like the choices that you made. You don't you're born looking gotcha. like your mama and daddy, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. You know you don't you don't die looking like them. Oh. You die looking like the choices that you made. Oh wow, that's that's, that's deep. deep. Okay, talk so your you talk. So you have to yeah, remember yeah. that. You talk know what I'm saying? Talk. When somebody's Let standing over your grave amen. and they're sitting there, I don't give a fuck. They hate you or love you. That's real. They're never gonna talk about how much you look like mm. your mom or your dad. Mm -hmm. They're gonna talk about the choices and the decisions that you made into the person that you became. Talk that's right. Talk You're about. born looking like them. You mm -hmm. die looking like the decisions that you made. Mm. Yeah, real mm -hmm. shit. It's very important, and I want people to know that. The viewer to know that. That's very critical. Yeah, in your yeah. life that's to tough. understand yeah. that, it, you know what I'm saying, absolutely. and that's why there's people like you, mm -hmm. whether you thought of that like that or not, back mm -hmm. in the day, Silk, when you were doing your thing mm -hmm. and you were moving and just in the rap game, yeah. you were leaving a legacy behind. Absolutely, you, nobody was going to talk about your mama or your daddy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when they standing over you that's in true. the end throwing a rose. That's facts. Mm -hmm. Big facts. Nobody. They're going to talk about what you left behind. Your legacy. That's right. Big that's facts, right, man. I, that's Your what, legacy is everything. I don't want to be remembered for a day. I want to be remembered forever. That's right. Wow. That's right. Don't remember me for a moment. I like. Remember that. me for a lifetime and forever. I salute that. And for lifetimes to come. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that. I like that's that. right, Matt. That's probably you're right on that. I, th I think even so, even going back, um, and you don't know that you don't know that you in the legacy moment. Mm -hmm. So every that's bar, right. every bar you write. Every, Who does? Every, right? Yeah, Who does every video, at that point? Yep. Every you don't know what you're being. Yep. Yeah. When you're younger, you don't. Yeah. Yep. Every person, but the good part, even like what you're doing now, is gonna stand forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like so, 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 everything we doing now, it's gonna be a part of the history, right? It's mm -hmm. like even when every song I did, every every feature I had, right? Like I still look at it today, like it was Destiny Child, right? It was Beyonce. I'm like, so Beyonce, who she is, but. If if you go back, we was all young mm -hmm. kids just trying to figure the music thing out. Right. 
But we figured it out. And she figured it out. I figured it out. You go back. You got camera. I did a song with camera. I did a song with Jay-Z. So it's all... Well, I didn't know that years later, those moments would still be where we could put our fingerprints on it. Like, it's so it's mm. so crazy. Like, um, I, I go back. Charge the Game is going to be around forever. Like, it's 25th, 25th year anniversary. Year. And it'll be... Yeah. It's, yeah. And it'll always stand as yeah. a jewel. As a jewel. Mm -hmm. as a jewel. Yeah. You know? That's right. Because mm -hmm. no matter where you got, I don't give a mm -hmm. fuck. Somewhere in the, somewhere in the mm -hmm. country, the world, somebody playing your music, Absolutely. and you you'd be yep. surprised yep. who it was yep. mm -hmm. that yep. was just resonating yep. with something that you made, man, over twenty five years facts. ago. You Big know facts. what I'm saying? Yep. Like, Silk, so you you definitely a pioneer, man. Yep. Y'all being pioneers, mm -hmm. yeah. even in that game and understanding mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. ass even just being around the big court. Yep. That was yeah. surprising <laughs> to me when I yeah. found that out. I said, "Damn, you know." Yeah. Really niched in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I started young, bro. I've been around yeah. a long time, you know. But I want to go back to something with Slim, like uh, that Charger to the Game being 25 uh, years old. And you, so you got a, you doing like a tour, 25. I'm doing a big tour. Yeah. Well, I'm doing, well, I was telling you about this before. Mm -hmm. And this and this is going back to what you said about um, touching the people. Because I mm -hmm. remember some people that I, I met um, along that way where um, everybody who really care about you genuinely, yeah. mm -hmm. Is like touched by that so much. Like I, I want to go back. Not I can't do it crazily where I could go everybody neighborhood, but I want to be able to every city we go into because we go into a lot of cities. Um, yeah, I'm doing some big shows and that's fine and cool. But we doing a charge to the game tour where I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm going back to that that grassroots. Like I want to every city I go to, I want to see somebody that I see later on in life. Like I want to, I want to impact them too. I, yeah, dope. music is good. Um, Giving away stuff, having fun, you know, like, cause that to me that changes the world. That changes people's lives. Like I remember somebody coming to me. I had a picture of uh, these three girls, whatever, and the guy. And then at my concert, they showed me the picture. They was like, we was we was all going to college, and we was like, you, we had you all on our wall. But what it was, it was just simple. It was an icon, man. Uh, you know. That time, you like, said no. I didn't say it. You said I didn't say it. You know and I'm a firm no, no, because I do the same thing. Like yeah. I never yeah, yeah. call myself a legend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never done that. I hear people say that shit all the mm -hmm. time to mm -hmm. me, man, and I just I, I push past it. Yeah. That's for them to say. Absolutely. They never say. So Absolutely. yeah, you're right. I'm supposed Absolutely. to say Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I, I did say that, and you mm -hmm. didn't. I appreciate that. That's mm -hmm. what it's yeah. about. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You were an icon, man. You still are, man. Yeah. For what it is, you made a staple in this rap game, and I feel like the viewer needs to know that, man. Like if you ever respected hip hop, rap, anything about mm -hmm. that or even know your histories. Yeah. You know somewhat of this man yeah. Yeah. and where he came from. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's that's for damn sure. And Absolutely. the fact this nigga don't age. Like <laughs> yeah, I, I said this I'm shit gonna get some earlier. Skincare. I'm, I'm working on some skin care. Yeah. This nigga said, need to get a uh, you, you need to do a skin care. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You, you know did <laughs> look bro I said this shit when he walked in. I said man this dude don't look a fuck I said Dirch do you age? <laughs> You look the same, yeah, man, when you, you drop the like smash, you your yeah. first yeah. joint, man. Get, you look like the nigga climbing out the TV, you know what I'm he saying? He has to be the true definition. <laughs> I'm being for real and for yeah. the viewers. Go match up a picture from this shit. I swear to you. He has yeah. to be the true definition of black don't crack. You put on a, a, a skull cap, nigga, you look just like this. I, I swear, man. <laughs> I swear to yeah, you, because yeah. you look the fucking same from uh -huh. the time you stepped out on the scene <laughs> yeah, fucking crazy. over 20, 30 years ago. But mm -hmm. you know what? I've been around, homie, so that's 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 good living. You know what I mean? That's that's not stressing, no drugs, no drink, you know, taking care of yourself, you know. On top of good good genes, you know what I mean? That, that yeah. plays a good part of it. Well, yeah, I no fucking control in that shit. You know? <laughs> I know. I, you that don't, shit but just if came you do, naturally. you do. You feel me? But I'm like, <laughs> fuck. I, I got like, some young homies that look older than me. You know what I mean? Yeah. 21, 22. Get weathered, man. Me. Like, you know yeah, what? Yeah. It was like it was like Silk said when he walked in. He said, yeah. man, you know, less stress. He said, man, I'm That's trying it. to be <laughs> away from stress. Stress is yeah. the number yeah. one killer this oh, day, these man. days next to salt and high cholesterol. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Especially for black men. We be disposed to all. All of that shit. Come on, man. Yeah, so, you right. know, like, for him to even say that, he was like, man, shit, it's, stay away from the stress, man. I, I think, too, another thing, too, man, I was just, and we was talking about that before. It's like, mm -hmm. man, um, it's a lot of, okay, so where I come from, just to be honest with you, where they ain't really do a lot of talking so much, and I think um, everybody got this, they stressing themselves out by being, trying to be super tough, or mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I'm trying to. I'm trying to control everything, whatever. But in reality, if you a real one, whatever, you ain't got to do a lot of talking. You ain't got to try to, 
you know, be because if I got a problem, I it's, it, it's up there. But you'll never hear me have a problem with nobody because I feel like as a person, let's fix it. We can fix it as a man. Or right. it, if it if it has to go way there, that's that's crazy to I've me. Had, I feel I've like that's over nothing. I've had problem. Listen to me, man. And we could talk about it. Let's unpack. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had certain problems in the streets. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. with certain individuals, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that shit is gonna. Nobody treats it the same no more. Content then took over. Right. Mm -hmm. I used to be like that too, where yeah. like, yeah, you just showing your actions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If that's what's going on, mm -hmm. that's what's going on. But that's not the way it goes anymore. Nah, nah. Now everybody like yeah. they'll pile yeah. in, yeah, man. Yeah, they yeah. gonna yeah. they gonna try to push you toward you push you and the other person that yeah, probably y'all could have talked it out. Yeah. Cause y'all both yeah. bosses. Yeah. God just putting y'all together. Right. Don't let it don't think that all these other little motherfuckers that's putting they're not putting yeah. you together. That's right. God's nah. putting y'all together. No question. So if y'all did have a discrepancy, yeah. do not allow the viewer to dictate or play mm. in the narrative. That's right. Of what you what you two really become. That's right. Because ah, right. people are turn people that are supposed to be oh, friends in the all enemies the time. Fast. Especially and it'd now. Be the, it's the viewer. Especially the, now. And the killing part about it. You it, know I'm telling the truth, Donnie. That's why Donnie laughed like, <laughs> yeah. That's the naked truth. That's the naked fucking truth. But what's the fucked up part about it though, Sharp, is like I always say, bro, the cemetery full of tough niggas. You know what I'm saying? The penitentiary, yeah. the penitentiary full of niggas. It's not full of wise ones. Yeah, but the penitentiary full of niggas who had to show them tough niggas what time it was. So it's a lose lose situation. Mm -hmm. But with this content shit, right? Um, that's what I learned. I didn't get the memo that a lot of this shit be WWE shit and just content, right? Because I come from the era where you got to pay for your words with your ass. You know, pause. When you say something, I you got to stand on I hate that motherfuckers even got to say pause. I hate that. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I'm going to be real with you. Yeah. Like, I say it too mm -hmm. because I know the, the weirdos won't understand. Exactly. But like back in exactly. the day, bro, the motherfuckers say, man, I'm going to have your ass. It didn't mean nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. in any type nah, of you situation know what it's for. like that. Yeah, I'm you know sorry. we got to like, navigate these comments in the weirdos. I, but you I don't you, don't you hate yeah, that? Like, yeah. I just wanted to pinpoint yeah, that yeah, real quick. I'm like, when a nigga say he was going to have your ass, he didn't mean that. He didn't mean that literally. Nigga you was getting yourself equipped, nigga, right. for a rumble. Yeah. Right. You wasn't getting yourself yeah. equipped, like, oh, right. you, you yeah. sex playing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you know, I feel now, like that's a younger generation yeah, that plays bro. that game, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it sucks, and yeah. I get it. It's it's a truth. It's an ugly truth, but yeah. a truth nonetheless. Yeah, no, you're right. And and as I was saying, like, you know, it's like nowadays, yeah, you have to be mindful of that because it's like high school, right? Mm -hmm. Like, think about it. If you in the hallway and you got a problem with a nigga, right? Y'all walking past each other. If it's not a crowd, y'all could probably talk and figure it out. Conversation rule the nation, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. But guess what? Mm -hmm. When it's a crowd around, you know, now everybody posturing. Now you got ego, you right. got a lot of noise. And the right. thing about it is they'll hype you up just for you to both of y'all to crash out mm -hmm. and then talk about how stupid y'all was. You know, right. you, you see that? They'll be like, oh, man, he, he fake. He this. He ain't that. Look mm. at what he said. Look at what he said. He should do this. They should pull up. They should run the fade. But then as soon as it go left, mm. then it's like, man, they was stupid. Man, they was dumb. Them niggas mm. was getting money. Look what they did. So motherfuckers got to understand the play. You know? I got a good question. Let's have some fun. Let's go. Let's do this. Michael B. Jordan is saying Drake is the greatest rapper of all time over Jay-Z and Tupac. What's your thoughts? One, two, three, go. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> as somebody who's done a song with Jay Z, though. as somebody who's done one, so like yeah. I just want to, you know, I, I, I want to know your your because this will be dope to hear it. Yeah, I got I got two opinions on. I mean, at Come the on, end of the day, you know, you you have a right to choose who you want to, but to say That's that true. to say that would be like. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, Drake is dope. Drake is good. Drake is yeah. definitely He's good. one of the greatest of all Absolutely. time. I, no I question. love Drake's music. No but continue, please, because you're going but there. I will say, yeah, it's, it's, that's a tough sale um, to say one. That, that's a tough one. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll just leave that there. I mean, everybody got a chance. They can do what they want to say. Now, mm -hmm. me personally, um, me personally, I thought like... Um, my number one has switched back and forth too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who is your number, your number one? one? So for real, we got to know. My, my number one for real. I'm number one too. right now. You feel like probably can't be touched next week nor next year. Watch him say "Silk the Shock." I'm excluding myself, of course. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah. no, you excluding yourself. Excluding myself. Don't, don't, now you know what? You know what? I, I was debating mm. this, and what well, I think Jay Z to me is the number one. But some people are gonna kind of be like. Kind of thought all by well, a little bit. I love Who him. Is Who is it? Well, I would say it's a close one, but I, 
I, Wayne is up there for me too. Okay. Well, Wayne is up so there. So you going who you going between? Jay Z and Wayne and I'm gonna go Jay Z because when I was coming up, Jay Z never disappointed. Even to this day, he just never disappointed. I'll tell you what I liked about Jay Z and why I I think a lot of people will agree with you because mm -hmm. he's a great businessman. Mm -hmm. He's a great businessman. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, like what whether he right mm -hmm. or wrong, mm -hmm. right? He yeah. has he has made it to a whole nother level in the game of just buying mm. other businesses and just yeah. having right. other things. Right. Yeah. He's made his brand huge. Mm -hmm. That's not music though. It's it's not. Right. But just even him touch you have to think about it, man. Mm -hmm. It's it's like being in the streets, right? Mm -hmm. You only you respect the motherfucker shining. You don't ask mm -hmm. him how he got it. Oh right. okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. I like that. I you like ever that. walked up on a motherfucker and asked him how he got it versus just saying, hey, man, you shining, my yeah. nigga. Yeah. And he could be amongst everybody in the room that mm -hmm. he ain't never did nothing of what they mm -hmm. did. He just touches a little piece of it yeah. because mm -hmm. he brings the backing, mm -hmm. he brings the money, mm -hmm. it makes him the biggest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody respects okay. it anymore these days that of just we are named being good in the streets. Mm -hmm. See, I came from that <laughs> yeah, era as well, right. fellas, that's where right. your name had to be Hell good yeah, in the your streets. Face card had these to be good. days, yeah. it's really just about who's got the most money. Right. If he's got the most money, okay, yeah. we're going to listen to that's him right. more. That's right. Wow, okay. It is like that. Yeah. Wow. And it yeah. wasn't even because he had more knowledge than you. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's deep. Yeah. That's deep. But to the but so to the music, I'm saying you saying that Jay-Z shouldn't be number 1 or you saying I feel like this. He played it well. Mm -hmm. He played it well. He made himself bigger than the music. Right. He's a mogul now. Okay. But if you, you know keep it just to the artistry though. If you keep it to the artistry, yeah. I feel like he definitely does fall mm -hmm. in the top 5. Really? Okay. For and sure. You know what? Jay Z wouldn't be in my top five he, as an artist. He brings Whoa. no, and the only reason I no. say that because I feel yeah. like he sells a lot of units. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when it was units. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's that's the type of shit that I but count then, for. But I then feel let's like go for this though. But I mean, you, but streams and units doesn't necessarily streams mean that. You. But does it necessarily mean that it's good? I know it's all subjective, but Ooh. just because a motherfucker Ooh. sell a lot of records or Ooh. stream a lot don't mean they necessarily good. I think Jay Z is very talented, just like Eminem, right? But it would just wasn't my cup of tea. I can look, I can listen to him and acknowledge that he can rap. He's talented, but you know he Eminem, wouldn't be in my top five. Listen, <clears throat> love Eminem. I interviewed his one of his uh, mm -hmm. film the a film director, mm -hmm. yeah. director James Larice. Mm -hmm. Love the conversation, everything, and I fuck with him. And I feel like his videos are dope because mm -hmm. of some of the people I've met. Like there's there's people that work around that make some of these people dope. That's but right. would I ever say that Eminem's in my top five? No. Yeah, mm, yeah. Okay. See, and then this is the no. thing. It's too. Mm. I, 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 I personally, never, and not I even because he's white. I, I love white right. people. I love everybody. Right, Spanish right. people. Mm -hmm. I love everybody. Right. But rap mm -hmm. is rap. And like, mm -hmm. um, I, I, it's it's subjective. I have two sets of top. It's a five. Deep conversation, you know, fellas, because like, going? because this is the thing. If I if you ask me who my personal top five was, it would be my personal top five would be my number one would be Spice One actually, and probably Scarface oh. and mm, Ice Cube two and three. You know what I'm saying? But now. If I go a separate top five and I say, well, damn, who I can see that can actually rap rap and do all that old trickery shit, yeah. yes, that's where you would get Eminem, Jay-Z, you yeah. know what I'm saying, yeah. and Nas and some of those wow. guys. You know, So it's two different ones for me because wow. I, listen, I listen to music for different moves. I might listen to 3-6 Mafia. I ain't listen to 3-6 Mafia for lyrics. That's mm -hmm. vibe. You know what I mean? I listen might listen to, to, long I might listen to 21 Crunchy Savage. Black like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's my partner, yeah. like for Shout real. Shout out to Crunchy okay. Black. Knew him, yeah. I, I knew yeah. him mm. way before any of this yeah. for years. Mm. You know, That's me right. and him used to ride. That was one of my right hand men. Right. Mm. And you I might listen to up. Beanie Siegel because I want to hear some lyrical gangster shit. You know mm. what I mean? I might I listen. I like Beanie Siegel. Stay proper. You know your state property shit that day. I feel it. Yeah. And you might want to get on your silk shock and shit that day, maybe on some ball and shit. You know what I'm saying? Ride and everything shining. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> about what's, it's about where you at in your life too. It's about what's relative to you too, That's real. right? Because like right. Rick Ross, like right. Rick Ross, to me is is underrated. But Rick Ross, his his whole thing applied to where I'm at in my life now. But see, when I was in the hood in the streets, it didn't. You know what I mean? Because I couldn't relate to that. You know? Because I'm still in the trenches. So back then, I'm shit. I'm listening to Ghetto Boys or whatever, Ice T. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. that was more trench rap. When you yeah. got a nigga talking about some silk and some. You know what I mean? Some yeah. some extravagant, opulent shit. Then you know, you you at least for me, it was it wasn't until I got to that point, you know, mm. that I could relate. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. 
I think music is subjective though, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Drake is definitely one of the goats. Drake. I definitely. fuck with him. No, I, 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 hate I know what Drake it's too. like. I know what it's like to Drake and drive. <laughs> Drake and drive. I know what it's like to Drake I, and hey, drive. I didn't. Hey, I can't play me a little Drake. That, I mean, I, don't I can't be lie. the only one that hated on Drake initially because yeah. he was light skinned. I really Canada. never hated I on did. Drake. I, I felt on like him. he was in the beginning when I first heard Drake. When I yeah. first heard Drake come out, I felt like Drake was very commercial. Yeah, and then he grew into who yeah. he was. Yeah, that's be. right. Okay. That's right. I felt like he evolved. He never stayed mm. the same. Like yeah. He got into wherever the industry was and everybody's yeah. feeling it. And then he took his followers and his fans yeah. and he ran on with it. Now he's yeah. got a whole different genre of people that Man. rock with him. Me mm, being that's one of real. them. I, I love I, I love, love Drake. Drake. You I can't do. tell me nothing about you Drake. You can't now, tell me nothing but about initially, Drake. Initially, I, I didn't give him a chance. I, 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 hated I will on stand him. with Drake, man, from I hated the, on from the, from the that's my nigga right there. That's Not real. that's my light skinned brother. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Hey, let me ask saying? you something, Sharp, real quick. Off the subject, right? Go ahead. I asked Matt Barnes this uh the same thing. Man, shout out Matt Barnes. Yeah, shout out to the homie. Happy birthday. Today is birthday. Happy birthday, Matt Barnes, man, for real. Fuck with my light skinned brother. Yeah, light skinned niggas, y'all still in or mm -hmm. or y'all still in mm -hmm. or did y'all go out in the 80s you know who he is <laughs> ask some of them chicks you deal with nigga ask them hey, I, got old I ain't the, I ain't the no questionnaire chicks. I ain't the nigga to ask you should ask no, bitch. Ask the, ask the, you nigga she's ask gonna tell you everything and be like yeah, yeah. Uh, ask her would you go pop a sharp a little bit yeah, yeah I think he, yeah. They like hey, that let shit. Hey, let me ask, and I know this is your, but we do the same thing. We do you know the what same I'm saying? thing, so that's why did you Did you have to deal with, uh, and this is just a question for you, bro. Did for you sure. have to deal with colorism as a youngster, like being light-skinned? Um, it, it, I feel like you have to deal, I had to deal with it as the years went on. Like, mm -hmm. see, back then when we were younger, kids, nobody really understands mm -hmm. that too much. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, that's yeah. not the, the thing mm -hmm. that's being talked about on the mm -hmm. playground. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think uh -huh. it start it, it start happening as the years went on and gotcha. people yeah. got more of a voice. Yeah, yeah social yeah. media was yeah. created. Yeah. People are fucking putting. They say it's free speech, so right. people are putting out mm -hmm. whatever the fuck they want to put yeah. out, separating everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason I asked because like I had Matt Barnes, I had Busy Bone on my show, and I both I asked them both the same question. Where Busy, that wasn't his reality because they're both mixed, right? They're mm -hmm. biracial. But Matt Barnes, he said that he ran into a thing where he wasn't, in some circles, he's not black enough. And in other circles, it's he's always not white enough. Like that. You know what I mean? It's always going to be like that. And yeah. I, I've said that before. Mm -hmm. But you have to stay to who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know, I'll tell you this. I classify myself to what the police classify me as. <laughs> yeah, you already know what I that is. I think that's very important. Yeah, yeah. I that's what they going to see. I don't go off of how the viewer treats me or what yeah. they think I am. Yeah. I don't go off of none of that. I go off of what this man grabs that yeah. little square card, yeah. man, or he pulls me yeah. up in the computer and he sees what my rate and starts to treat me. They going to treat you just like they treat me. Bro, we all it's, the it's same. Never, we three niggas in the car right now. It's never been no different from me as True. a kid, bro. Yeah, I've sense, always, I always, I always classified myself yeah. off for how the police treated that me. That makes sense. And That's I've right. been getting treated by them since I was a kid. That so I know. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. They yeah. the one that taught me who I was. Absolutely. Yeah. The police did. That's who taught me what I really one. was. Yeah. If I needed to classify myself, yeah. you know, are you too are you black or are you yeah. white? You can never be too much white, you can never be too mm -hmm. much black. No. Police. You're black. You're black. You're black. And come up Straight over up. here real quick. And Straight we need to holler at you real yeah, quick. Yeah, what you yeah. got up you on got you? They ain't never just walk me off and be like, yeah, you he's safe. Probation. He's good. Nah. He's good. Send him home. Nah. Let's stop everybody else. No. Nah, you Michael Black. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Who's you catching that one? Hey, whoever's <laughs> getting that one, you a better man than me. Yeah. yeah you dark Straight. You darker than Kuta Kente. That's hey, like, yeah. but that was fun. But to get, I want to get back on basics. Yeah. I want. I, I heard like you trying to name off your top five. I mm -hmm. want to know who your top five was. Mm -hmm. Who's your top five rappers? So I think. Um, so I think this one will be a shocker. You know, as, as I, he says shocker. Um, um, I think this will be a shocker. I'll, I'll, can I give you top ten or top five? I Do top ten. All right, it's cool. I top ten. So I would go. We ESPN um, status tonight, man. Sports right, Center. Sports top Center, ten. Top ten. Let's yeah, go. Come on. Um, we just doing that, no let's, jump let's, for let's, sharp. Let's go J for sure for me. We let's start go. from ten or one. Start from ten. Top, go get some ten. Okay, ten. Yeah. Damn, I just messed me up. But let me go ten. <laughs> All right, so let's go ten. Let's go. Um, let's go. Ice Cube. 
Really? Uh, yeah. Come I'd, on, man. I'd pull him out of the double digits. Come on, bro. I'd come pull on, him out of the on, double Sharp, digits. You a West Coast nigga. Okay, I am. Okay, come on, let me, bro. Let me, you let me a West Coast nigga. Right. Let me reserve. I am a West Coast nigga. Yeah. Let me reserve. So that should tell you everything and why I said he's not going double Okay, let me let me reserve. I reserve right. Let me reserve it right. Okay, you might be right on that. Hold on. Let me see. Come on, come on. Don't let Sharp talk you out your shit. No, he. Don't let Sharp talk you out your shit. Let me see. Let me see. You just want to debate. But no, he's right. You just want to debate. I am right. He just wants to debate. No, no, no. No, Cube is in my top 10 yeah. for sure. You fucking with Cube, top Cube, five. Cube still double digits for you, Donnie, in your top 10? For huh? sure, bro. Yeah, yeah. Death certificate. So let me America's see. Uh, let me see. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see where I'll put him at because he might be higher or lower. I mean, let me figure it out. So, so my 10 going to go to, um, let's go, let's go, damn, my Okuji rap as 10. Mm. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Nas nine. Oh, I have something to say about that, but I can't fuck with your uh, list. Higher or lower? No, fuck that. You're just no, do your, your list. It's your okay. list. Nas let's nine. Go. I can't let's do go. that again. This, you're gonna like this. You might not like this one, but eight. What? L L. Go L L. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. good. So, I mean, I'm talking about so, and then I'll go. So I'm at, I'm at seven. I would go six is Snoop, maybe. Snoop. All right. He's like, he like debatable. <laughs> it's okay, no, because I know it's, yeah. I'm, I'm from the West Coast, yeah. so you know, some of yeah. these dudes, yeah, they're going to fall in my yeah. in my five. It's maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. not necessarily going to fall yeah. in yeah, yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would go, um, I would go, and I'm taking all of us out of the picture, so I would go, now I'm at five, I would go... Mm, I would go um, Scarface. Can't do Scarface now. I you say you, I like oh, Scarface. Geez. No, if he would have, I would have accepted. It. <laughs> no, and he you didn't. He's throwing us for a curveball. Hold on, if Slim. I would have, you said he said no. Not, there. Give okay, him his, no, let's give him his flower. Go ahead. I mean, this but, is your but, list. But let me, this is your list. Yeah, let, let me go Jesus Scarface. Lord, let me go Scarface. Face got to be in. Let there, me bro. go Drake. See, so I got four. I like that you're trying to get him out the way. You know you can't leave him <laughs> off the list, but you try to get him out the way while you're still up in numbers. Hey, <laughs> I get it where he was at. He was like, all right, I got to get Drake the fuck out the way because he needs to be on this list. But when it comes down to the bottom of the list, the bottom of the barrel, there's going to be some other names at play. It's so many good ones, though. Um, yeah. Did you only got two more? Got, yeah, this is your 10. The world's watching this. Viewers are watching this. Oh, they, the whole world your 10 is about to solidify this. Everything. Okay. Um, damn. I'm gonna go. So I'm at what? I'm at four now. Yeah. I'm at four. Mystical. I I, don't, I say none of us is in there. Oh, okay. None yeah, of none of them. No, okay. they can't count themselves. <laughs> can't count themselves. This is that. That's so much. That's cheating. Like, that's you can't put somebody up <laughs> against they self like yeah. that. Like yeah, no. This is just you. What you listen to, and who you would put as your ranking. E40. No, I mean. I like you, forty, but I'm, yeah. I'm saying these are people that normally, like, I'd just be like listen to them, yeah, consistently. Like, I got you, and it's I just you. like I. So I would go. I'm gonna go. Drake three, mm. and then so four would be. Four is gonna be. I'm gonna go Outcast as a group. All right, solid. I like Outkast. That's solid. Like if Outcast. you listen to that, yeah. No, that's that's funky right there. That's funky. I like that. You letting me know that your music is funky. I yeah. like that. Like yeah. you like horns and sounds and things like that. Like you like actual band sounds. Yeah, I like that. Shit. Yeah, you like that is real that musical shit. That no, no, I got two more. Uh, okay, you got two more. <clears throat> Go Wayne two and J one. I cannot believe that. All right, now we can talk about it, right? Let's now go. we can unpack. Yeah. I cannot fucking believe he, you left Pac off the list. Oh my! Oh, I cannot oh, believe so. that <laughs> I was waiting. You I know was what? Like, all right, bro. Like, but you, but you really gonna leave Cube up. off the no, list? No, 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 no. I gotta get a duo. I gotta get a duo. You left Cube off the list, though. Let me just run this fade real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because <laughs> Tupac ain't fucking. We are with running the fade. On Tupac the ain't fucking with Cube. Absolutely. Because know why? I I do. You know what it is. Now, um, I did, and Pac is one of my favorites, though, so that's why, you know what I got to do? I take that back. So I would go 10 Coogee Rap. I would go 9, 
What's say nine? I said um, LL was nine? No, you said eight for LL, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, he okay. was like eight, yeah. Who was nine? So it was Cool G Rap, and then it was, fuck, I forgot. Um, it was LL, it was- uh, It was I LL for eight. I can't remember. That's crazy, yeah. we messed the whole thing up. But I will go this part. Oh, I will go, so, I, so this is the reason why like, I, I, like, I like all the Biggie music too, right? Mm -hmm. But it just didn't have a lot of it, so it, it was just like, do you, do, I'm going by the body of work, so that's, that's a long career. But so I would have to put B like at about six, and then I would, I would put five. Can I go outcast with five? But I would go, I would go Drake at four. Okay, because he was at Wayne three. Wayne at three. And Tupac at two, and then Jay at one. That's my. That's it right there. Are we going with that? Because let me tell you why I say that, bro. When I so Tupac, so I know everybody debate the Tupac and Biggie thing, right? And that's that's fair because we want to be as, as respectable as possible mm -hmm. because we have to mention them both. As number wise, I can't. I don't know what the numbers because I I, I jam Biggie right, mm -hmm. but I didn't jam. I didn't jam a lot of it, and then I. But he was just as talented as everybody in my list. But, you know, in the recipes of Biggie too. And so, but the thing I was thinking about with Pac was literally he should be number one. Him and Jay is like fighting mm -hmm. for. Let me tell you why I say that. <clears throat> I ain't never heard a Tupac bad verse of Tupac. Like, I'm mean, like, I, you could pull it up right now. You won't ever, you mm -hmm. won't really think about it. Everything he ever made, it was like crazy. So, crazy. I, I, will, I will debate the Jay Z. Mm -hmm. I would debate the Jay Z. Um, and Tupac thing more than anything. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I mean, Big is in the class of itself, his own. And I could, I could debate the four, just the four I debate. I would debate Jay, um, Pac, Biggie, and, and I would say Wayne-ish, a little bit. He's come, he got a little, little more time to Him go. Him and Drake, I feel like, are the same. When it comes so, to exactly when exactly. it comes to like yep. and and to be real, the only reason I say that, and I don't want the, the, the viewer to be like, well, that's fucked up, is because yeah. they're both kind of from the same entity. Absolutely. They are, yeah, very much so. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. they're both kind of from the same entity, yeah. correct? So yeah. like Wheezy pumped that that's up. That's real. I Initially, feel like Wheezy really pumped. That's right. And I love Drake. That's right. Like I love oh, yeah, like, for sure. but let's not forget where people Came from yeah, no, like that's real. You were. I feel like Drake sounded like Wayne. He took a lot of sauce from Wayne initially, <laughs> and then became his own. Like you well, said, he grew. Into Drake's. His own. I think what, what Drake has mastered, and Drake, I love you when I say this. I don't want you to take this one personal, but I feel like because it's not nothing to take personal. Yeah. Right. I think it's actually pretty dope what he did. He has took other people's sounds, mm -hmm. other people's music, mm -hmm. and has made it better than the person that has done it. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. That's Drake's gift. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I hope Drake's listening to that. I wouldn't, I, say, I, to, I wouldn't I, say that he took. Maybe influenced. You know what I'm saying? Because he I does mean, Afro beats. I mean, it was beats. there before him. Yeah. So yeah. we have to look at that fact. Yeah. It's we nothing cannot, new under we cannot the sun. take that yeah. away from the situation to make yeah. it fantasy. Yeah. No, he blatantly <laughs> has done that. Yeah. But <laughs> what he, then that, that could be the downside, right? We could right. say that's the downside. But the upside of it is he has took it. And mm -hmm. ran with it. Made it better than what it was. And I would agree with you. And so that it, that's he's dope for I that. disagree a little bit. I disagree so, okay. a little but, bit. Yeah. But here's what he's saying too. It's like we're just debating this. Mm -hmm. Everybody has different, like I know people who don't have Pac and even in their top 20. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, right. well, we're that's, doing, that's right. very fucking yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, so we're just debating this. Yeah. It's a objective. It's no disrespect <clears throat> to any no, artist. No, no, it's not at really all. just. You know, me personally, I, I'm i just trying to see, I'm trying to give you my facts of yeah. how I listen to it. Right. So this is me. So I'm saying I just jammed Jay and Tupac mm -hmm. like it was crazy, right? Um, I just did it. It was like, if I could just put it on right now, we'd be jamming in here because it was just my my flavor, right? And then with Drake and Wayne, I, I would say I'm, I like Drake more. But then if I was thinking about lyrics and how they move, like I would say Wayne. So you, like you said, everything is debatable at this point. Mm -hmm. It's like you could throw a toss up. You won't right. really get wrong in that top five, right? right? You'd be like, right. uh, you you could be like, you could move up. 
Um, some people would say Outcast number one. You know what I'm saying? You could move it, you could shift it out. <clears throat> you asked me mine. They made great music. Oh, no yeah. doubt. So yeah, Outcast yeah. made great music. Yeah. Yeah. I would be a fool like yeah. to, That's right. the things that they had put out yeah. like, was yeah. crazy back then. And the thing know? about music too, bro, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. The thing about music too is what I learned with rap. Sometimes it ain't even really about who the best rapper is, who the best communicator. Because if you think about it, Tupac, it wasn't like he did all the lyrical gymnastics. Tech 9 and E-40 can wrap circles around him in terms of skill set, right? Mm -hmm. But what he said, he resonated. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So sometimes it's who's the best communicator, you know? Because Tupac had a basic cadence. But the shit he said and the the the, the tone of his voice it was influencing. It was it was influencing. And it had yeah. power. And yeah, that's absolutely. why to go back to what we were saying absolutely. earlier, I was yeah. like, I felt yeah. like rappers like yeah. yourself right. yeah. and others. Right. Still for real. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like y'all knew y'all had the power, but yeah. Y'all, y'all never like tried to put like even if you knew you was fucking up and doing right. you. Yeah, you would talk your shit. Yeah, yeah but yeah. you would never try to send people to their death. Yeah, yeah, mm. and that's what I loved about. I feel like a lot of rappers try to send a lot of people that are fans of them, like man, yeah. overboard and half and that shit the, that you talk about. You would, you would do. do, and that's the thing about balance because that's what I loved about Ice T. Ice T was my first, the first gangster rap record I ever heard. Right, was Squeeze the Trigger, but Ice T first verse. Oh, we getting it. We thugging. We gangsters. Second verse. Oh, shit, nigga. We really, we got the bitches. Third verse. Damn, we dead. We in jail. You know what I'm saying? So he gave you the real. He, I you know, I he gave you the real. It was like, yeah, you can do all that. All that's cool. But let me he tell you what's waiting on you. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you what's, hit, what's waiting on you. Yeah. So I, that's what I appreciated from Ice T. And can I rattle off my, my 10 real quick? My shit way quicker, though. I would love to hear your 10. I was going to probably do a quick five. I do a quick I'd five. rather say a quick five, five, a quick five. because the, the five is what's going to stand for something. Your, your five, five is what's going to always I stand for I have five. to. I, ha I have to. I just, because I love music. You know what I mean? So Go ahead. going quick from five. one, I would say Spice One. Okay. Um, second would be Ice Cube. Uh, third would be Ice T. Uh, mm. You got knowledge out of two and three. Yeah. Yes, sir. You got a lot of knowledge yes, that's sir. raised you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, your music is everything. Yeah. It's a piece of what raises you. That's you've right. raised a lot that's of right. people. Yeah. Still, yeah. Come that's on, right. church. Yeah. Uh, you've raised a lot of people. That's absolutely. right. And don't know it. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's for sure. right. I say fourth would be um, uh, probably Sibo. Uh, Damn. Yeah. He, he just, Sibo. He West Sibo. Coast in there, too. Yeah. Sure. yeah, that's what I grew up on. And, and five, I would have to say, would probably be um, probably Ghetto Boys. Ghetto Boys. Mm, yep. Okay. Damn. Yep. He went a whole different That's route. That's a gold one. You went a whole different route on us. That's the shit that I grew up on. That's the shit, like you said, that raised me. E-40, you know, E-40 kept me out of jail when I was hustling in the 90s and getting to it. You know, that's why I always say Too Short taught me how to deal with women in the sense of having confidence. You know what I mean? Mm. NWA taught me how to deal with my peers in terms of being aggressive. You know what I mean? Mm. Not taking no shit. E-40 kept my ass out of jail. Because mm. when you get into the money and you in the street, you know, he telling you how to move, you know, how to yeah. talk in code. And, you know, like he said, don't go buy a $75,000 uh, house before you go buy a uh, car let before you go to the house. Me, yeah. Let me cut my five. I'm, I'm looking yeah. for this one. Yeah. You can, take, you can kick me off too. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, just keep me off. Just keep me off. Uh, <laughs> I know you want me on there, but just, I'm excluding myself out of this one. You know what I'm saying? Because you were one of my favorites. Uh, it was yeah. because you, no, you really you yeah. really were because you were saucy. Like you yeah. brought a different feel to it. Like yeah. you yeah. shine and like y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. brought shine to yeah. the grind. Gotcha. Okay. You know That's what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. didn't just look That's like right. a bunch of niggas rapping struggle. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like I can say that, bro. Like we used to look at the album covers like, damn, this nigga shining. You know what I'm saying? They had to shine on, but I'll exclude you. Me. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate Excluding that. you. So. <laughs> I'll go um, Pac, my first. Okay. That's tough. Okay. Pac, my first for That's sure. Tough. That's tough. Snoop Dogg and the DPG. That's tough. Mm. Second. Okay. okay. You put them way up there. I thought you were looking at me sideways. Okay. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Got gotcha. you. Gotcha. Yeah. That's yeah. tough. All right. Um, DPG was cold too. My third, do or die. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Shot time. Okay. Yeah. You toughen it up. Do or okay. Die. Do or die. Bring, bring, yeah, bring that, some that of the real melodies. Yeah, that bring some of the real melodies. That's right. That's that Midwest shit. I can't uh, That's tough. I like that. My fourth, Drake. Okay. 
my fifth, my spiritual brother, Kevin Gates. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. I probably would have put him in my five too. Yeah. And I got and I got a hanger on the sixth. I, I got a sixth man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Come off the bench, okay. Juice World. Juice oh. World. He's tough, he's right. tough though. All right. So you did solid. solid. So that's my that's my like solid that. six. That's yeah. my that's my my five and a six man. Now let me ask you a question. I'm just keeping it a band, bro. Like that's where I fall from. And I feel like he was he was the rookie. Juice where I had to throw mm. him up in there because he would have been smacking with some of the greats, Ooh. bro. And what he was doing and what he brought to the table. I like that. That's tough. That's so right. I had to bring me a six. I like that. Yeah, tough. I'm with but you. Yeah, with Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Gates, Gates man. That's oh, my Kevin Gates is the truth. That's now, my you, nigga right there. Would you say here. for you, um, because that's your top six, right? So mm-hmm. that's that's like influencing you. Mm-hmm. You could throw them on. You mm-hmm. could jam to it. Mm-hmm. You know the music work. So that's you. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like all these two. Mm-hmm. No, a lot I'm, of it, I'm man. Saying, yeah, you know, no, I, li- yeah. I like a lot of oldies too. Yeah. But like for today, to what I want to resonate like with the viewers, yeah, like, like that. that's like that's that. my top five and a wingman today. I like yeah. Juice World's my wingman. I like yeah. that. I yeah. fuck with him. That's I mean, tough. I feel like he yeah. was gonna be. And I'll be real with you, like to, to speak on him. Mm-hmm. I feel like he was gonna be something great. He was gonna be. No doubt. He was ahead of his time, man. No yeah. doubt. Yeah. Like in his music, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. he never. He, he talked a lot of sad shit, but what I loved mm. about Juice World is he never spilt hate. Mm. Mm. He never spilt mm. hate in his music. Mm. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like he he would say some of his experience. He always talk about fighting demons, mm. not joining them. Right, right. You mm. know what I'm saying? He always talk right. about fighting them mm. off. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Especially being in this, he's a young kid. Mm. He's 20 years old, a multimillionaire. Yeah, right. Yeah. right. You know, he's a multi millionaire at 20 years old, man. Of course, he's fucking fighting demons. Oh, yeah. He's taking drugs, doing all types of shit. Like, but he's still, out of all the shit he did, he still stayed focused. Mm. Yeah. Do it all. That shit was just a freak accident. That's tough, man. Mm -hmm. That's tough. He didn't mean for that shit to happen. That shit just happened. Most of them don't. And he was, you're right, bro. Rest in peace, Juice World, man. He was going on legend. Like, he He was going to go on legend status. Mm -hmm. He was on his fucking way. Yeah. He's about to. Couldn't nobody stop that shit. He was going the fuck up. Wait, Donnie was one of his good homies. That's, oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Sitting by and just so right. happens. That's crazy. He's filming today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Straight up. Rest in peace. And he yeah, was like, rest in peace that, to the Lord. That's one person I can say. It's a lot of two of them. Like a lot of young dudes, like I feel bad for like, you know who was good. Um, but him definitely, I I didn't know. And then they started letting me him. And he, he put was, on shows, bro. And he was like that too. He put man. on shows. You go to his concerts, and I never got the chance to ever experience one. But me watching some of the documentaries yeah. and just some of the stuff that was filmed, mm-hmm. man, his shit was entertainment. Yeah. Like it was a show. It was a it was it was crazy. I feel like some some artists that we know of that are mainstream, mm-hmm. I feel like they kind of bit off of some of the shows that he would oh, of course. do. course, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Like some of the shows Juice yeah. World would throw. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, I, 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 and this ain't even nothing against Travis Scott, but I feel like Travis Scott tried to kind of somewhat mimic what Juice World was doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And throwing some of his oh, shows. For sure. You know, and for I know sure. there's going to be something that's going to talk about, but that's just my, nah. my personal preference to it. Right. You know? I think you did on. I love right. music. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, yeah, I well, love yeah. music. And I don't talk, we don't talk about it a lot on my mm-hmm. show because we get more in depth with yeah. the people that I talk about. But shit, yeah. we're on, a, we're on a, a music platform. Shit, yeah. we can yeah. always talk about me. I love music. So, so let me throw a. Uh, I keep doing what you doing. My, you know, we do the same thing, but we real do the quick. Same shit. Who's your top five R and B? Top five R and B. Real quick, yeah, y'all. Mm. Your top five R and B. I'm gonna go number one, Isley Brothers. All right, all right. We gotta run it to okay. the to the oldies <laughs> on that one. That's right. Um, secondly, I'd probably say Keith Sweat. Mm. Okay, that's tough. That's a tough one. Um, third for show. Jodeci. Mm. Yeah, shout out to Jodeci. For sure. Had all yeah, the bitches. That's right. Mm, okay. Had all the bitches. Yeah. Some, love them to death with some crying ass niggas. They yeah, were crying. Yeah. See, that's when niggas were crying on me. <laughs> like, they had water yeah. splashing water in their face yeah, and all that yeah, the shit. Rain like, shit. Yeah, yeah, niggas, yeah, niggas would go. Shit. What I say? Jodeci for my third? Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Um, Prayers to JoJo, as a matter of fact, who's recovering from a stroke, too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn. Casey, a motherfucker. I guess it's always mm-hmm. the bad ones that, that live on. I judge. <laughs> <laughs> that's IB too. Yeah, they both. Was, yeah, they that's both raised hell though. Folks, right there. They, they, they both raised hell though. That's for the older folks, right there. Hey, for the ones that knew. Hey. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so Jodeci three. Yeah. Um four. I like 112. 112 is hard. I'm looking right. for some groups. 112 right. is hard. 112, yeah. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And number five. He ain't even drop a lot, but I, I got to throw him in there because I, I have listened to a lot of the music that he mm -hmm. did drop Case. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. 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 Damn, no you know R. Kelly? Yeah. <laughs> R. Kelly, hey, you know, I'll be real with you. I'll be, I'll be real with you. You are fucked up. But <laughs> what I like, though, That's hey, crazy. what I like, though, That's I insane. can't throw a six man, right? Yeah. Go ahead and throw our kill on there. <laughs> you said kill, huh? I'm going to throw our kill on there. I'm saying we're. I'm going to throw our kill. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you right. And I did do me a six, man. I'm going to go ahead and throw our kill on there, man. For yeah. real. We're talking, you know? we talking about strictly music, though. Yeah, just strictly, strictly music. Yeah. Strictly yeah. music. I'll yeah. throw our kill on there. Of course. Of course. Uh, I liked Usher. Yeah, I, I think Usher put it. I think yeah. if we just keep going on yeah. down yeah. through R and B, now we yeah. just have fun with it. That's like, right. Man, you, That's you right. look at Usher, man. Like you look at some of these dudes that then really like them put on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, for me, I'm I'm you know I'm back with the Luthers. You know, what I'm saying the I, Luther I fucked with, I yeah. fucked with Luther too, man. Yeah, for real. Yeah. yeah I know. go far as back, man. Is Bobby Womack, man? Oh, Bobby mm -hmm. Womack. What you know about? You know what I'm saying? I wish Willie you wouldn't Hutch. trust me so much. Willie Hutch. Yeah. I, yeah. Man, I watched the video that he shot from that year. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see the music? He got a music video from that year that he put out. Oh mm. wow. Wow. We could talk yeah. this shit for days. Oh, yeah, for real. Sure. No That's real. For real, man. That's real. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm a man, music I just appreciate it. Hey, look, mm -hmm. if y'all ever want to come back and just pod, because I feel like yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it was a bit of an interview, more of a pod. Like, it's yeah, just, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah for sure. thoughts and ideas, Absolutely. especially sure. having a, man, yeah. a music mogul with us. And, man, That's just right. having somebody That's who, right. man, right. we got people from music, from media here, mm -hmm. man. So That's I just right. feel like it brought together a good pod, man. Shit, I might throw y'all on my payroll. Okay. I know you might be all right with it, man. Shit, man. I thought you said coming out. We 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 work it out. We out. We work work it out. Work something out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got. I appreciate you, fellas. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming and fucking with you, man, and sitting down with me, to all the ones in the room and to the viewers out there that love what goes on in this media. Because I'm gonna bring nothing but the truth, man. And I feel like the silk big court. We brought nothing but truth, transparency. Salute to you too, my guy. Salute. Salute. The Sharp Tank. Salute. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. Hey, Donnie, you know what to do. Shoot us out the motherfucking gym.